I'm batch cooking again today, guys. I made some seitan lunch meat. Turned out okay, it's not overly flavorful. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna slice it up and store it in a container with some of the broth so that it stays moist because seitan tends to dry out really uh, fast and get really rubbery. So I'm gonna try it that way and see how it how that works out. And then I'm also making some hibiscus tea. And I made some garbanzo beans. So these are over here cooling. I made about a half a pound. And I'm making zucchini bread. So I've got zucchini bread cooking in the oven, which I've never made before. And I also made some more vegan sausages from the Plant Eaters recipe made out of oatmeal and spices. So I got two packages of those for the freezer. I'm on a roll today. Can't wait to try that zucchini bread. I mean, I'm gonna slice this up now. So I'm gonna store it two different ways. I'm gonna leave some of it in broth and then I'm gonna slice the rest up and save it in the fridge just plain for sandwiches and see how each one, uh, each one holds up in the fridge. I gotta let this one cool first though before storing it. I used a recipe from, oh, well I used uh, Yumly for the zucchini bread. Yumly.com for the zucchini bread recipe. And then the zucchini, uh, seitan one. Oh, I got it on YouTube, I think, but I didn't use their complete recipe. I just used part of it. I used this vegan bologna one from Plant Based. Plant Based Kindness. It's vegan bologna. I didn't use the whole recipe, but if you guys want to look it up, you can. My zucchini bread looks like it turned out good. Yeah. Though I didn't have a half a cup of sugar that it called for. I ran out of sugar, so it's not going to be as sweet as it's supposed to be. But I love zucchini bread, so it'll probably be good anyway. Alright, we're testing out this zucchini bread. So far, Luis and the kids said it was good. It smells good. Mm. Let them see Mrs. Sinandra. You got Sinandra. Mm. I haven't had zucchini bread since I was a kid. I love zucchini bread. This one's good. I'll leave the link for the recipe in the description box. You guys can check it out. I used egg replacer. Half a cup less sugar than the recipe calls for and it still tastes good. It's not overly sweet. I'll definitely make it again. Anyway, we ran to Walmart so I thought I'd show you our little haul. I'm uh, going to attempt to make my own homemade loaves of bread. So I bought flour and sugar and stuff that we need. And I also bought brown sugar and um, confectioner sugar to make cinnamon rolls. So this is what I got. I got some regular sugar. Again, like I just said, brown sugar, confectioner sugar. Then I got some bananas and some oats because I'm gonna make falafel burgers. I got a couple limes. Big old bag of all-purpose flour. I wanted to get wheat flour, but they didn't have any non-GMO wheat flour, so I just got the white one. Not the greatest, but at least it's non-GMO. The cilantro, that's for the um, falafel burgers I'm gonna make. One thing of vegetable broth, some cinnamon applesauce for the kids' lunches. Luis wanted this almond silk vanilla coffee creamer. Got some more parchment paper for cooking. One thing of tofu and sweet unsweetened applesauce, I use this for baking. And then in the meantime, while I'm learning how to make bread, I bought two loaves of bread to hold us over and then two things of oranges because they were on sale for two for eight. So just a little haul. That was everything and we spent uh, $67. I got this book called How to, make, how to Make Bread in Five Minutes a Day. So I'm gonna be reading that and learning how to make different kinds of bread. I'm excited. This is the book I was talking about. I, I do not remember where I got this book. It looks like it has a stain on it here. I have a feeling that I took it from my mom's house. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. Uh, but yeah, I have a feeling that my mom, that I might've taken it from my mom's bookshelf because she never uses any of her recipe books. So yeah, I'm gonna be reading this and figuring out how to make bread. And this, obviously this has a hundred recipes. So lots of things to learn, should be interesting. Are any of you guys excited like I am for the new Netflix show, 
the new remake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Now obviously called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. <laughs> I'm only on episode two, but I really like it so far. I'm really excited for this to be a drama. I liked the original, even though it was like a sitcom, like comedy. But this one looks really good. You guys should check it out if you're interested in witchy drama. I don't know what else to call it, but <laughs> it's good so far. All right, I just had lunch and I'm gonna have my rule breaker birthday cake cookie. Thank you. Can you open it for me? You already had yours, what'd you think about it? It was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Daddy liked his too. It's a big one, I thought it was gonna be like two cookies. Yeah, me too. Can you focus it for me? Just once. Thank you. One fat cookie. <laughs> warning, warning, I have not showered yet today. <laughs> Let's try it. Smells... Smells good. Smells kind of weird, actually. Smells good to me. Mm -hmm. Smells a little bit like birthday cake. Mm -hmm. But a little bit like chickpeas. I think that's what it is, chickpeas. I don't see any chickpeas in there. It's actually a chickpea cookie. Mm. It's good. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Hmm. It's a very chewy texture, which I really like. Kind of like cookie dough. I don't know, it has a bit of an aftertaste to me. It's a little bit, a little bit weird. Still pretty good though. I'd probably give it a six out of 10. I give it a nine out of 10. Yeah, you want a bite of mine? Jeez. Big mouth. You take bites like your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not giving daddy a bite now because he'll eat the other half of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, where's my bite? I want a cookie. So I got some more packages from Amazon. These are organic bitter raw apricot kernels. They're supposed to be really good for fighting cancer. They have B17, which is um, like a really good cancer fighter, apparently. But you have to build up a tolerance, so you're only supposed to eat one. And I would eat one a day for... I'll probably do one a day for like a week, and then do two a day for a week, and three a day, and then just build it up because you're supposed to get up to like 7 to 12 a day but some people have a bad reaction to them so kind of have to take them at your own risk um you guys should do research on them if you're interested but they are supposed to be really really high uh cancer fighter so not that i have cancer but i'd like to prevent it if i can so i got those and then i also got this boldo tea because my friend at work told me that it's really good for digestive issues so I'm gonna give this a try. It smells really weird, medicine-y for sure. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but I'll just uh, gulp it down if I don't like it. So you have to look up the benefits for this too, if you're interested. But I know it, I looked it up and I just remember it said it's good for like digestive issues, but it was also good for, um, it was good for a bunch of other stuff as well. So I would just Google it if you're interested in finding out the benefits, but Anyway, those are my little <laughs> my little uh, hauls for today. And these are supposed to be so bitter that you most likely should grind them up in a coffee grinder and put them in your oatmeal or in a smoothie or something because I heard they're really terrible. But anyway. Mm -hmm.